Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about a really important topic called cancer. And the way I describe cancer is that cancer is a process in the body and the tumor is the final stages of a process that's happened. So I'm really not too focused on the tumor. I'm focused on changing up the process that allowed that tumor to grow. And what we need to do is we need to explore the characteristics, the environment in the body that allowed that process to happen. And so we can look at this from a preventative standpoint in terms of preventing cancer. And we can also look at this as a treatment. And when I say treatment, no matter which treatment you decide, you still need to be working on rectifying and addressing these three characteristics that we see within the body. So in terms of our cancer patients, there's really three main characteristics that we see. One is that within the body, that environment is on the more acidic level. So the body needs to stay in a really tight pH. And it, when that pH is slightly more acidic, or it can be greatly more acidic, but it's, it's more on that acidic side, then that is an environment that allows cancer cells to be able to grow and for that process to be able to shift and change. So the second characteristic in a cancer process is that the immune system is lowered or decreased or depressed. Now, the immune system is your defense mechanism. It's your army. And so we need a really strong army in order to protect us from invaders that really shouldn't be there. And we want this immune system to be really strong. And if that immune system isn't really strong, then our, it's like our defenses are down and it leaves us more susceptible to a cancer process in the body. So the third characteristic that we see in a cancer process is that the organs of detoxification aren't working at their best. So the organs of detoxification, these are your liver, kidneys, lymphatics, colon, lungs. These are all the body's way of moving toxic loads out. If our body can't effectively move that toxic load out of the system, that means those toxins are accumulating in our system. And when they accumulate in our system, that contributes to an environment that allows that process of cancer to develop. So in terms of how we address prevention as well as treatment, and when I say treatment, it can be, you can go under any treatment in terms of cancer treatment, but you need to really address that process because what you wanna be doing is you want to be changing that terrain from a more acidic environment to a more alkaline environment. You wanna work on boosting up the immune system, making sure that your defenses are really strong, and you wanna make sure that your organs of detoxification are working really well so that they can move that toxic load out of your body. So this is what we see in terms of that process, the common things we see. And I hope that all makes sense to you. And I hope that what you will do is you will share this information with your friends and family. You will press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.